2 plus 2 4 plus 6 10 plus 2 12 plus 6 18 plus 6 24 plus 2 26 so we have a total of 26 the electronic configuration of iron an atom uh, which has an atomic number of 26 so uh, when we are dealing with transition elements we we are only considered about we are only concerned about these two the the 3d and 4s subshells or the the basic basically the outermost subshells and that's because if you look at all these subshells over here they're completely filled uh, s can only occupy two so we have two two and two over here a p subshell can only occupy six in ma a maximum six so we have six and six over here but uh, a d subshell can occupy ten it has six over here and uh, also before uh, we move further i want you uh, i want to explain to you that uh, you must have noticed i filled the 4s subshell first and then the 3d subshell now if you remember from your as levels the 4s subshell is at a lower energy level than the 3d subshell so because it, it is at a lower energy level it fills first followed by my 3d subshell so uh, that's about it uh, let's move further so if i uh, ha if i have to make these orbitals the 3d and 4s orbitals over here then uh, We have five orbitals in a 3D subshell, in a D subshell, and we have one orbital in a in an S subshell. Okay, so uh, I have two electrons here. So as you can see, these arrows, these arrows show the opposite spins. Or uh, the if if you studied uh, the Pauli's exclusion principle in your AS levels, that one orbital can only occupy two electrons, and both of these electrons have opposite spins. So this fills completely first, 4S, the 4s subshell, then I start filling my 3d subshell. So first I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So I have 1 completely filled orbital in my 3d subshell and I have 4 partially filled orbitals in my 3d subshell. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, I'm just re uh, doing a recap for you, AS level recap. So this is Hund's rule. Uh, each orbital fills first and then we start filling the second. Uh, so we f first fill one electron in each orbital and then we start filling uh, the second electron in each orbital. That is Hund's rule. And um, so that's why I filled all these first with one electron. I'm sorry. Uh, let's go back as I, I filled all these first with one electron and then I filled the sixth electron over here so now if this is my Fe atom and uh, this is my 3d and 4 the, the electronic configuration only comprising of the 3d and 4s subshells now what if I make the Fe the electronic configuration of the Fe2 plus ions Fe2 plus ion so um, yeah I have 26 electrons in my Fe atom so the Fe2 plus ion has lost two electrons and therefore it will have only uh, 24 electrons. So I'm not writing the complete electronic configuration. I'm just making the outermost subshells. So this is my 3D subshell. Because this part remains the same. So I don't really need to write this. This part remains the same, so I'm just going to start continue. Uh, ju just going to write the 3D and 4S subshells. I'm sorry. Uh... So my uh, Fe2 plus when I form an Fe2 plus ion the Fe atom has lost two electrons now as I said the 4s subshell fills first and it also empties first so whenever an ion is forming this will empty first followed by this subshell so uh, as we have lost two electrons these two electrons will empty and they won't be there so now we will have zero electrons uh, let me write this is 3d and uh, this is 4s this is 3d and this is 4s so these two electrons have emptied as i'm forming my fe2 plus ion and i only have electrons over here so one two three four 
five and six. Okay, so I have six electrons over here.